Agatha Frank had surprised many with her reaction to the shooting death on Thursday, 20th December, by Chazelle based police of the man who had wounded her multiple times with a cutlass the day before. The two had shared a 38-year romantic relationship which was punctuated with violent abuse. She, of course, the constant victim. On Thursday, 11th January, HTS's Southern correspondent Desmond Colimo caught up with Agatha Frank and her daughter outside the St. Jude Hospital as they waited to see the doctor to get an update on her wounds inflicted for no apparent reason by her long-term partner. She was weighed down by worry over how to fund the burial. Agatha says she needs the state's assistance to bury her deceased partner. Because the policeman, they shot the fella and they tell me after the post-mortem I have to take the body and put it in a home. So I do what, as they said, but I need help to bury him. I cannot bury him myself because I myself is in a, on the side. I need help to bury him. The government, I call you on you all, help me to bury Sylvester. I need to bury him. Her daughter, Aisha Frank Terence, says her mother needs her help, not only as she is unemployed and has lost the family's breadwinner, but she has been incapacitated by the wounds. It is their responsibility to bury him because they were the ones who killed him. They cannot just put the burden on the family. It is just not right. Because right now my mom is unable to use her hand. She is not working. So... They cannot just burden her with that. They have to step in and do something about that. They have to bury Sylvester, not us. It shouldn't be us. And if we do, they should be the ones assisting us because my mom don't work and she's unable to help herself right now. Agatha and her daughter, ahead of Thursday's doctor's visit, were anxious about the prognosis, particularly as it relates to the use of a left arm, which had been severely lacerated. She's still in the cast. I cannot do nothing yet. I cannot close it, so I don't know. I went, came to see the doctor today, so I don't know what they will tell me about it. I don't know yet. No, I cannot close it. I cannot close my hand at all. I cannot do nothing. So that is why I'm asking for the help. News Force has learned that Agatha Frank has some control over her left fingers. The doctors applied a new bandage and support for her left arm following inspection and treatment. The family now returns to the horror of their reality. How to source the funds to bury a man who was both a provider and an abuser. They have made an appeal to the state since they argue its agents were responsible for taking his life. Stanley Lucien for the HS News Force.